Hello, welcome to Tokyo Cheapo. I'm Amy and right now we are in Narita Airport, one of two of the airports in Tokyo. If you are planning your trip to Japan, you might be thinking, which airport should I arrive into? So in this video, we're going to cover things like accessibility to the city and services and amenities in both Narita Airport and Haneda Airport so you can make an informed decision for yourself. Haneda Airport is located just south of Tokyo City, while Narita sits outside Tokyo altogether in the neighboring prefecture of Chiba. Of the two, Narita sees more international passengers, with twice as many airlines operating to this airport, including more low-cost carriers. In comparison, Haneda has a much larger network of domestic flights and actually sees more passengers per year as a result of this. So, when booking, it's a good idea to check what flights are running to both airports, keeping in mind that Narita will likely have more options, particularly with low-cost carriers, while Haneda will be more convenient if you are looking to transfer onto a domestic flight. Another key factor to consider is the accessibility of each airport to Tokyo. From Haneda, you can get to most locations in the city center in 30 minutes, while from Narita, you're looking at well over an hour to popular destinations like Shinjuku and Shibuya. However, for neighborhoods in the north of Tokyo, such as Ueno, the travel time is a little better at around 45 minutes. Both airports are serviced by a number of transport options, including buses and trains. For detailed guides, check out our Narita and Haneda transport videos. But for a brief overview, Narita has two dedicated trains, the Narita Express and the Kaseya Skyliner, both with reserved seating and luggage storage. The Narita Express in particular is long but convenient if you're looking to travel to your accommodation with no transfers, with direct services to Tokyo, Shibuya, and Shinjuku Station. Speaking of trains, hey, wake up! Did you know there's an easy place where you can book all your Shinkansen tickets? No? Let us show you. If you're traveling to Japan, chances are you're wanting to ride one of the famous Shinkansen. But booking tickets on Japanese websites can be hard to navigate and many non-Japanese cards are not accepted. Enter Kluke, this video sponsor. Kluke is an experienced booking platform where you can easily buy Shinkansen tickets in your own language and currency. The best thing about Kluke is its ease of use. Simply sign up, select the route and departure date of your trip, choose the time and type of seat, and check out. To collect your tickets, simply scan the provided QR code at your departure station. Check out the link in the video description or download the app to start booking your Shinkansen tickets on Kluke. From Haneda, there are also two trains with non-reserved seating that run into the city. These services only take you as far as the eastern side of Tokyo. So while they're a lot cheaper and quicker than those from Narita, you'll likely need to transfer onto local trains to get to your final destination. Both airports are also serviced by the airport limousine bus, which, while slower than trains, drops passengers off directly at a number of stations and major hotels in Tokyo. One last thing to note about transport is that services from both airports generally finish between 10 p.m. and midnight. So if you're arriving late at night, your only option will be a taxi. From Haneda, a taxi into the city will set you back around 8,000 yen, while to cover the longer distance from Narita, you'll be looking at 20,000 yen or more. Another point you might want to know before arriving at either airport is the amenities in each one, including accommodation, eateries, and shopping. In terms of amenities within Narita Airport Terminal 1, 2, and 3, on the land side, that is before you check in your bags and go through customs, on the fourth floor of all these terminals, there is a shopping and dining mall. This is a great place to pick up last minute souvenirs like B-side label stickers, a whole variety of different flavors of Kit Kats, and in Terminal 2, there is even a Pokemon store where you can get limited edition Narita Airport Pokemon merch. In terms of hotels, there's only one directly connected to Narita Airport, that is the Nine Hours Capsule Hotel. For everything else, you'll have to leave the airport and travel to there.
All right, next we are in Haneda Airport, Terminal 3. This is where the international flights come and go. Right now, we are on top of a wooden bridge. Visually, as you can tell, it's a lot better than Narita Airport. It's really cool, it's all Edo style. A lot of the restaurants and stores out here all blend in in this really interesting Japanese style, kind of like similar to Kyoto in some way. There's a lot of restaurants and stores. Uh, we have two heavy hitters. We got Big Camera and Don Quixote. In terms of restaurants, there's quite a lot to choose from. However, most of the stores do not open for 24 hours, except maybe a few convenience stores and maybe the Yoshinoya. Inside Terminal 3, there's also the newly opened Haneda Airport Garden, with around 60 different stores, a hot spring, and hotels. Unlike Narita, Haneda has several hotels directly attached to the airport. From the capsule hotel first cabin in Terminal 1, to mid and high range options in Terminal 2 and 3. All right, I hope the video was helpful for you guys for your next trip to Japan. Also, if you want more up-to-date and specific guides on both of the airports, please go check out our website. Goodbye.